Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to draw some gifts. Um, last week I showed you how to draw a tree and now we can start adding gifts around our tree. So today we're going to learn how to draw this cute little teddy bear and a decorated present in a box. All right, so all you'll need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser and some colors for later on. All right, so I'm going to take away my example and we'll get started. So the first thing I want to work on is the teddy bear. Um, he's got a nice, cute, round head and a gumdrop body. So let's start with his head. We're going to start towards the center of our paper and we're going to make a nice, round head for our bear. And we're going to add his nice round ears on the side. So ears can be tricky sometimes. We want to make sure that we're making his ears in the shape of a rainbow. Okay, so we're going to do it on the side. It's going to be a side rainbow. One ear on the side. And then we're going to go skip the middle and make another rainbow on the other side. So we've got two nice round ears. Now on the inside of the ears, I'm going to zoom in, we're going to make smaller rainbow shapes for the inner ear. And the same thing on the other side, we're going to make a smaller rainbow shape. So he's got the inside of his ears. Now we can start working on his face. Um, in the center of his face, we're going to make a small oval right in the middle, towards the middle, bottom half. We're gonna make this circle. All right, and inside the circle, I'm gonna make an upside down triangle right at the top. Upside down triangle right at the top of that. And then coming from the bottom of the triangle, I'm going to have one, two little lines. Looks like an upside down V. And then for his eyes, so his eyes are going to be outside of that circle. One is going to be over here to the left. And then you can make it an oval. You can make it a circle. It's up to you. And then I'm going to skip to the other side of the nose. And I'm going to make his other eye. And I'm going to color that in. All right, now let's zoom out. So yay, there we go. We've got our teddy bear face. Doesn't he look cute? Now his body is a gumdrop shape. So, um, you know, right now there are a lot of gingerbread houses out for sale where you can build them at home. And they've got these candies that are shaped like this. And they have like little sparkles of sugar on them. Um, and they're round and squishy and jelly. And these are gumdrops. So I'm going to copy that shape of a gumdrop to make our teddy bear's body. So right below his head, I'm going to start on the left and I'm gonna make that nice rounded bottom gumdrop shape and I'm gonna come back. So I left some space in between to give him a nice round belly. And then that's gonna be the base of him, his body. Now we're going to add his little arms and his little legs. So on the right side, we're going to move a little bit away from that gumdrop shape. And we're going to make a U, a long U, curve to the side. So we made a line down and then curved it back to the belly shape. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to scoot a little bit away from the gumdrop. And I'm going to make that long U shape. And it's going to curve back to the gumdrop. So I've got two little arms on the side. Now for his legs, we're going to make it look as if he's kind of sitting down on his bottom. We're going to make the legs come from the corners of that gumdrop shape, the bottom corners. So the bottom left, right under the arm, I'm going to make a curve line to the left. And 
I'm also going to leave some space and make another curve line coming from the bottom. So there's the bottom part of his foot. Now for the foot part, you can simply add a half circle and you can get a nice round foot. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So just like we did for the leg, we started right below the arm. We're gonna make that little curve line out not too long, not too short, just for his little legs. And then I'm gonna skip some space because I want it wide like this leg. And I'm gonna make a curve line up. So it's gonna come from the gumdrop and go up. And then right here, I'm gonna make that half circle shape for his little foot. All right, so there's our bear. Isn't he cute? All right, so we've got our teddy bear. Now let's start making that present. So for the present, we're going to need to make a box. And the easiest way to make a box is to make a square. So let's make a square. We're gonna make four straight lines. One on this side, one on that side. And then I like to turn my paper to make it easier for me then I can get nice straight lines. Now I'm gonna connect these with a straight line and another straight line. And then when I turn it right side up, you'll see that it's, it's more of a rectangle. So, hey, that works for me. Rectangles are boxes too. All right, and then we're gonna start adding some more lines into our box because we want it to look like it's got ribbon on it. So I'm going to zoom into the box so you can see. So towards the center, I'm going to make a straight line going from the top to the bottom. One straight line, top to bottom. I'm going to do that again, except I'm going to skip a little bit of space. And I'm going to copy it from the top all the way to the bottom. So I've got one piece of ribbon going from top to bottom. But now I want the ribbon to go from side to side. So I'm going to turn my paper again, turn it to the side, because this helps me get nice straight lines. And now I'm going to find the middle of the top and I'm going to come down to the bottom. There's one line and I'm going to give it some space. I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to draw another line that copies it and goes all the way from the top to the bottom. And so when I turn it right side up, you'll see that, oh, look at that. We've got this sort of cross line going on. That's our ribbon. Now for the top of the ribbon, you could leave it like this. That could be a very nice present, but we are going to put a bow on the top of our present. So on the top of the present, we're going to make one teardrop shape to the right. You see that teardrop shape? It goes up, around, and back to a point. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Nice round. Okay, you start to see how they look like bunny ears or the top of ribbons, right? Now we're going to make these a little bit wider. This is how we do that. So we're gonna basically copy the shape of our teardrop, but we're gonna go a little bit outside and around. We're going around it. We're kind of like putting it in a little bubble. We're putting a bubble shape around it. So I did that on the right side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. So I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna make this sort of bubbly shape that comes around the shape, okay? Let me darken up this side so it looks a little bit more matching. All right, so I've got those two teardrop shapes and then I put a bubble around them. So now I've got this nice fluffy bow, but I wanna add a little bit more. So, right here in the center of the bow, I'm going to make 
a diagonal line to the left. And I'm going to put a W at the bottom of it, just like that. Now, when I'm done with that W, I'm going to make the line go back up to where I started. That's going to be one little ribbon tail. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go back to the center. I'm going to make a diagonal line to the other side. I'm going to put a nice pointy W on the bottom. And then I'm going to make this line come back to the center. And we've got a bow. Now, if you've got any parts of your bow and your ribbon mixing together, just take an eraser and just carefully erase away the ribbon on the box, that line that goes through your bow. Just erase that away and then it won't look as if they're both kind of see-through. It'll look more as if the bow is on top of the ribbon. All right, so there we have it. We've got two awesome gifts, um, a teddy bear and a present wrapped really beautifully. Um, I will take it away and show you um, the final product, what I made and the way I colored it. Um, choose any colors that you like. You can make lots of presents using lots of different colors so they all look different. Um, you can also make it with different shapes. So I hope you had fun. I hope you add this to a nice holiday card. Share it with someone you love. Stay safe and I will see you again next time. Bye guys.